What up, what up? Winbush here, and today I'm excited to show you guys how I made a topographical map using Oli World Creator. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Yeah, before I get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Fadfan for sending me this microphone here. This microphone has actually an arm on it so I can bring it in front of me. So hopefully you guys can hear me a lot more clearly. If this works out for you, like if I'm more clear to you guys, make sure you leave me a comment down below. And again, once again, shout out to Fadfan. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick this microphone up at on Amazon. So I have World Creator open. And what I want to do is let's make this up here where it says terrain size. I'm going to make it 4K just to expand it out a little bit. And then I'm going to come down to custom base shape and then click edit shape. And then before I flatten this, I'm going to come down to the very right hand corner here where it says level strength step. I'm going to click this all the way down to zero because now you can see it gives me a lot more points to work with. And so if I ever want to manipulate this whenever I bring in my terrain data from um, the website I'm going to show you guys, I actually have four, a lot more points to play around with. But um, let me click flatten the entire terrain here. Click yes. So now we have a blank canvas to start with. So now I'm going to click done editing shape. And now we have to go pull in some data in which I'm going to go to this website called terrain.party. I'll also leave a link down in the description for this as well. But when you open this up, you'll see that you'll have this map here. Actually, it starts off differently. I was messing around with this earlier, but it opens up as open street map. And if you don't see anything on your web browser, just make sure you click down here to where it says USGS and then start to scroll out and then you'll start to see the world map here. And so I'm going to use data from the Grand Canyon. So let me find where it's at down here in Arizona. So like I said, I kind of set this up earlier, but if you don't have your purple box where you want it to be, you kind of have to find out where on the map you want it to go. And then you have to manually drag this over. Like I've used this search button here. And it doesn't really work, but I found that if you know exactly where you want to go, you kind of just bring this purple box over and this is where it's going to give us the data from. So all I'm going to do is move this around in here until I get a good terrain area that I want to pull data from. And once I'm happy with it, come over here to this um, this cloud function right here. It says export. Let me click on that. And then I'm gonna just name this one Grand. And click OK. And then it should pop up in the bottom here saying, where do I want to save it at? Give that a second there. There you go. So I'm gonna click save and it's gonna give us a zip file. So if I open my folder here, we have a zip file here and I'm just going to extract it. Okay. So once we have it extracted, you see, we have a whole bunch of different files in here. And basically these are just different resolutions that is pulling the data in from and So I found the best one to be is this one that says merged up here because I believe it merges all the data from all these maps into this one to kind of give you the best results. So if you're going to use data, use the one that either says, um, Aster 30, which I believe has the highest density, or I just usually use the one that says merged here. So I'm gonna show you now how to bring this into World Creator. So I wanna come over up here where it says areas, and I wanna add an area. And then I wanna come down to fit to terrain size and click that. And now we have this whole area that we can pull data into. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna come down to here where it says blend map properties. I'm gonna stretch this all the way over to the right. So we're taking full advantage of our terrain here, because if you notice, if I drag this over to the left, you see, we get this gradient kind of going from like this reddish color to this orange. And what that is, is the fall off. And so if we brought in terrain data, it would bring it in fully here in the middle and it will fall it off until it's flat there on the sides there. So I want to have full access to this whole terrain. So I'm going to bring this all the way up. And then under here where it says area properties it has height map and click on that. And then now I'm going to come under where it says height map and I'm just going to load the height map that we just downloaded. So let me find my download folder. Like I said, I'm going to use the one that says merge, click open. And now you see we have some terrain data in here. And for my blend range down here, I'm actually going to drag this out too. So it takes up the whole entire area here. And then now let's see what we want to do. We want to do height scale so it can bring this up a little bit. And before I start moving this around, this is important up here where it says lock. You want to lock that because if I don't, 
if I try to navigate around the scene, it's actually going to slip my area here that I made, which I don't want to do. So before you start moving it around, you want to make sure you lock that into place. So now we have our Grand Canyon data in here and we can manipulate it from here if we want. So if I want to, I can come back over to surface, come over to filters and let's add a filter here. Let's see, we actually have a Canyon filter in which I like this one It says Canyon smooth because I could come down here and it kind of smoothed it out. And this is really cool if you want to do like helicopter shots or some type of shot going through the terrain. And if I don't want it completely flat, let me just come over here to strength and just move this over a little bit, maybe around 10. Cool. So somewhere around there is cool. So I'm going to click add. And then I also like adding some type of erosion or sediment. So let's see. Maybe go at a basic erosion. And this is just all kind of stylizing it. You know, add more detail how you want to it. So... Yeah, just for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to stick with soft erosion. I'm going to click add and close. So now we have our terrain built out, and this is the Grand Canyon terrain data in World Creator. Now to make it a topography map, we come over here on our left-hand side where it says Togo top, um, topographic map, or you can click F9 for a shortcut, and it actually brings in the scan lines in here. And we have complete control over this as well, so if we're not happy with these type of color schemes here, if we come over to, let me see, it was under, what was it under? Okay, so if I come up to textures and come over to general, down here we have a section that says topographic color and properties. And so here is where we have a full spectrum of our gradient. And so if I go down here and click reduce, it's actually reducing the points of the gradients here. And then I could just come over and start sliding these around and I can actually pick my own colors that I want here. So let's say for where it's red here, let's start that blue. Let's say there's like a river down there. And then where it's yellow, bring this up to a little bit more brownish. And also once we're done picking out our colors here as well, if you look down here where it says line color, we can actually select let me zoom in here a little bit. But you can make these different colors too. So you don't have to have it just black if you want to have something like this. And then also the sub color, we have complete control over that as well. So if you want to have white lines or even like some type of blue lines or just leave them black, you have complete control under here to do that as well. And then we also have control over the line distance. So if I move this over to the left, you can see that it's add more lines. If I move it over to the right, it looks like it's separating the lines a little bit more. And then we also have control over the sub count here. So if I wanted to lessen this down to just like one and so on and so forth. So that's really cool how we could kind of really go in and customize our color scheme depending on what we want to do. And so the next step from here is we can export this T-Rex, uh, we can export this texture out in this object out if we want to bring it into like unreal or cinema 4d or even after effects and so it's real easy to do just come over here to export and then over here if you want to bring in um if you want to export height data so you could bring it into like unreal or cinema 4d you would just come over here and where it says raw i usually do a png 16 which is 16 bit and then you click export and that, actually let me just click export to show you guys so i'm just going to save it in here Give us a second to export out and I'll show you guys exactly what this is going to export out. And if you want to know how to bring this data into Cinema 4D or Unreal, I'll leave a link down in the description down below. I actually did two tutorials covering those subjects. And so no need for me to go for it again. I'll link those down the bottom for you guys. All right, cool. So that's exported. And if I come over, let me find my folder here. Let me see which one says height map. And so this is what it exported out, which I said, again, we can bring into our 3D application if you want to bring in that terrain data. And then if we wanted to export out this texture, we just come over to textures and where it says splat map, we want to come down to topo map and then you can export this out as well. And depending on what project or program you're using, you might have to flip it on the X or the Y just to get it to line up right. But you just click export from here Again, I'm gonna save it in that same folder. 
And once this exports out, we should have a texture that looks exactly what we are like what we have here in World Creator. All right, cool. So it looks like we're done. I'm gonna go to my folder, double click here, and we have a texture out. So we could bring this into our DCC if we want as well, or I recently did a project for a TV show coming to the Travel Channel. I, I did the same exact steps that I just showed to you guys. And what I did was I brought in the After Effects and I actually have a little, um, almost like an Indiana Jones type line going through the terrain there. So once that comes out, I'll share that with you guys. But basically this is how you can pull in and make your own custom topography map with real world data. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Most recently for a TV show I'm working on, I had to figure out how to make a topographical map like I just did. And so I figured I'd share this knowledge out with you guys. So if you did find this helpful, make sure you leave me a comment down below. As always, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for Fine Fine for giving me that microphone. I hope it works out well. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care.